Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Life Fisherman. We're going to do a little different episode today. It's kind of a how-to. Um, we're going to kind of put it together. This build is kind of taking progress over some months. Uh, did some things to it originally. Uh, well, I have some original footage here, but I've done an update to the beam. I've changed out the lights, and I've added some switches, and I've added some net lights on the side. Um, these color change from blue to white, so they light up the rods really well. Um, and so I just wanted to, now that we've got it all done, I didn't want to put up the video from the old way because this is how I would have wanted it to do it originally. So uh, we'll kind of go over the build here and uh, we'll put in some footage of uh, actually the original build on it. And uh, we'll put it all together and hopefully it'll be a cool video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the build. Uh, I'm going to be making a couple of these for friends of mine. So uh, most of everything you can get on Amazon except for the, uh, the aluminum. Uh, you got to pick that up at a, a metal supplier near you. You can run it down with your uh, drill or impact. But just don't go all the way down. You don't want to strip the thread cut on it. So that's why I like to do it by hand just so you know that it's tight you don't over tighten it or strip your thread out on aluminum these are stainless steel make sure you use stainless steel hardware quarter 20s these are and you can pick that up at you know anywhere ace or bows home depot there we go It ain't done yet, but I'd say this has got the uh, quick release in it, so you can just lift. So you can just lift this whole. It's all mounted to this. That uh, took off, and you can just drop that down in there. Like that. I took that off of that triple rod holder or your bait board. Either one has this on the bottom. Take that off and. Locked. Yeah, see it. Where'd you get the aluminum from? Uh, Metal Mart. It's over in Rancho. Hmm. They charge you like per, per foot or something or? Yeah. I could have got a, this is a two by three. I could have got a two by four, but this was plenty big. I figured, you know, I only wanted it wide enough for the rod holders. Mm -hmm. What do you think it weighs, 20 pounds? Uh, what, everything on it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe not even that. Oh, we missed this one. No, that's the bait. Oh, the bait holder. Yep. I almost did it earlier. I was like, ah. All right, so that's kind of the idea. So you'll just do that, you know, I'm gonna put one under each rod holder. So you'll just keep doing that. And then once we get them all down the end, they're gonna connect to, to this. You order this also on Amazon. Again, all the links for everything will be in the description. 
but uh, I'm gonna cut this. Half of this will be through a grommet underneath the beam. And then the other one I'm gonna wire to the boat. And then all you gotta do is plug this in and they'll turn on. Um, I have a toggle switch. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. I mean, it's really pointless. I mean, you can unplug and plug that back in just as easy as turning on a switch. So um, I want it to be, you know, quick disconnect so I can remove this. I don't bait fish all the time, so. And to finish it off, I got these uh, two by three end caps that I'm gonna pop in the end here. When I'm all done, these will fit nice and tight right here in the end and just kind of clean it up, make it a clean look. These are also on Amazon. So I'll pop those in there when I'm done with all the wiring. So, uh, so what we use are Scotty Orca rod holders. That allows you to quickly pop these things straight up you know you got a shark or a sturgeon on reel down pop that thing out real quick we have our scotty bait board right here in the middle and then uh like i said we used a uh, three by two aluminum uh rectangle tubing we got the uh end caps uh plastic end caps on the side uh all, from amazon all this stuff you can get on amazon we use the uh, Scotty Orca, the locking uh, side side deck mount um, bases, and uh, we attached it here with the uh, with the uh, with the bottom. You can get these uh, posts, basically the same ones that are on the bottom of the bait board here. They have a four bolt uh, flange to it, and I tapped, I drilled and tapped all these with a quarter twenty, uh, and used stainless steel hardware, of course, on all of it. Uh, but that allows you to uh, quickly remove this whole beam if you want just by pushing the button and it comes straight up and that locks right back in. Uh, it won't go anywhere there. Uh, I did some electrical on it. So we have a two wire connector here. And um, so we have a two wire connector right here. And then uh, I ran two... Uh, illuminated uh, push button switches right here on the end one uh, the inner one runs the uh, rod lights and the outer one will run the net lights and uh, with these spots that I got on here if you cycle power to it it'll change from white to blue so you can light it up either way so you have this inside one here push that in once it lights up white all the all the rods are lit up nice uh, I still have the blue ones here for just an accent color um, then if I turn it off turn it back on everything turns blue and uh, it's really cool just I run it like that most of the time and same with the net lights on the side right here click that once you got net lights lighting up the water Click it again, they turn blue. The whole water's glowing blue, your rods are blue or red. They have red if you want. Uh, of course, I got a blue boat, so I went with blue. So, um, yeah, really like it. And uh, it's something that uh, I think is pretty cool and uh, I'm glad I did it. It's really cool on the water, lights up really well. You can see everything. Uh, see all your bites on the on the rod tips 
and then it lights up the water really nice for uh, netting the sturgeon or whatever in the dark. It's really nice upgrade to the boat. And uh, if you guys have any questions about it, any of this, uh, any of the install or anything like that, uh, shoot me a comment and uh, you know I'll get back to you. And it's uh, pretty nice. I, I really like it and uh, it's something that I'm going to leave on the boat. I didn't want to do the standard. A lot of guys will use their downrigger mounts on these style boats for the beam and that on mine my downrigger mounts are, are a little bit further forward which I like for downriggers um, instead of having them off the back corner I like them right off the side like this but the beam would have been encroaching too far into my uh, fishing area back here so this allowed me to move it to the back and uh, keep all this available space for fishing. fishing. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be sick.